I'm gonna <clears throat> go ahead and show you how to rebuild or reseal and then fuel injector without the special tool. I saw the video on YouTube where the guy was using the zip tie, which I am using. However, I am using one other thing and I'll show you real quick. First, I just use my pocket knife carefully. Cut the Teflon off. Where's the slot here? Get the old one off of there. Clean it. Looks good. Take the old retainer off, or whatever this thing's called. Get that off. I don't want to break it. Save that, because I'll show you in a second. Get the old rubber. Whoops. That went bye-bye. And I'm going to leave the Teflon or the plastic, whatever this is made out of, because it's fine. And the new ones have a little gap in there, which I don't want. So there's nothing wrong with these. I'm going to reuse them. All right. Let me get my uh, new seals real quick. I'll show you. Make sure you don't cut your new uh, o-ring that would suck all right so now i take what is this uh, 1964 drill bit slide my teflon over the top of the back end new teflon here just kind of work it around a little bit try not to stretch out too much and then i'll do one side and then i'll take it on the other side kind of stretch that out and until it slides over there evenly. Boom, it's on. Take it, transfer it to my injector, which you don't really have to actually just take it off of there and carefully kind of work it gently on there. Boom, it's in. Now, this is where I take the zip tie from the other video. I ground the zip tie. This is on backwards so where it doesn't lock, but I ground it I should have probably grounded a little bit further, but just so there's no corner that presses down on the on the Teflon. But anyway, slide this over. Just kind of, you don't have to super tight. Just kind of work it around. You'll see where it creates a high spot on the new on the new Teflon, which I don't want. But just kind of work it around a little bit, just a little bit, and then I kind of take it and. Smush it evenly with my fingers around real quick. Now, take your new retainer. And this is what I use instead of the tool because this is an exact fit. So very carefully and slowly just slide this over your new Teflon. Just kind of work it over there. Kind of wiggle it. It's a spot there, and it's actually compressing the new Teflon. Let's slide it over. Whoops. Well, once you go over it, if you go past it, don't try to back it off because the back side of this has a sharp edge on it. As you can see, the forward side is rounded, so that's why... I using that but just make sure you clip that on and that's fairly good that's pretty tight I mean it does it does turn a little bit but just take a good look at it down the middle and if it looks pretty close then that's it then stick a uh, stick your new o-ring on the end here now what I do carefully is uh, take a little bit of silicone grease just a tiny tiny little bit and ensure you don't get it to the front of the injector there. You don't want it there. But put a little bit on there and then slide it right into the cylinder. Just kind of work it kind of kind of small wiggles side to side until it works itself in there. Come on, get in there. Now 
Yeah, but it's going. It's just tight, which is good. Now, there we go. That's in. And it's tight. And that's good. And that's it. And then, well, don't forget to put on your little metal clip thing. But boom, that's it. Done. No special tool needed.